What's going down? Baseball Band is the channel, Thor's Thoughts of the Show. I'm back for another little unboxing. I've been a couple weeks. Obviously, stuff has started to accrue. Not a ton. We just got three three little ones to get through today. But I figure let's let's get let's uh grip and rip it, right? Let's see what we got in here. I'm actually gonna start with this one. Cause it's been the long it's been sitting here the longest. It got here about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer. But I am a busy man, so I was not able to get to it. But I am today, so let's see what I forgot I ordered. And Oh, sweet! <laughs> I did forget I ordered this, actually. It's the McFarland Toy Store gold label, because everything's gold label, exclusive. It's Mr. Zazz. Mr. Zazz from the Batman comics. This is way more of a... It's weird that they use this picture on the back and then they got this dude looking like this in the front, right? Like, this doesn't look like this at all. Like, even a remotely a little bit. It's more of a classic version. I wish they would have put classic version and then change it. What they could do is probably change the head sculpt for this figure and you could have a lot of different versions because I don't think the body's type. I mean, paint the pants maybe a different color, but you could do a bunch of different stuff. But Mr. Ziaz, he's cool. I mean, it's not like my, you know, favoritist character, but he's a good he's a good Batman Rogues Gallery figure, you know. Now this is the, it's a rare non-DC guy coming up next, but he's one of the ones that I think you kind of have to have in your collection if you're a collector of any type. And when they put this out for re-release, I had to do it. It's uh, the Merc with a mouth is Deadpool. This is my second Deadpool, third Deadpool, fourth Deadpool. Ha! Forget about some of them. I have a Kotobukiya statue. I have an old Marvel Select. And then I have a Marvel Legends. But this is my first movie version, Deadpool. So I'm pretty pumped about this. He was a re-release. He comes with six hands, a knife, some stuff, guns. He's got everything. He got a little unicorn even. He's a great figure. I'm pumped for this one. I didn't get the Wolverine because I was like, I don't really need Wolverine. Uh, I definitely am liking him more than Mr. Zazz. This is going to be a fun figure just to do some photography with, do shoots. I mean, there's I have a, I have a lot of different ideas with him. So I'm pumped. I'm really pumped for that one. That's going to be one I don't even know if we'll get to review. It might just be straight out the box and, like, let's go. And the last thing, I think I know what this is, but I'm 100% sure. Okay, I think I'm right. Here, let's grab one. Ha! I was right. All right. We got Mr. Freeze, the repaint. Uh, is that black and blue? So they did the Mr. Freeze. Uh, let me grab it. He's right here. This what? It's the same. This is literally the same figure with a repaint. I think, I, I think I'm going to like the repaint a little bit better than the, like the winter white version. This black and purple and blue and metallic one just looks the, the head's white i think that's more he's got a blue head it's, it's fine i mean i like this figure this is a good figure don't get me wrong but this repaint i think is solid um which is why i picked it up so mr freeze repaint it's it, the, i like that they cleared out the ice now it's a clear the ice gun is clear not this is all white so it looks like he's actually shooting snow this is good this is really good like i don't yeah, I mean, it's literally the same. I wish they would have threw, maybe thrown some hands or something for you, you know? Just something if you're going to redo. So there, that means there's going to be another repaint in here of a figure we already have. And here it is. Let's look at that. Booster Gold, Future's End. Um, you got the two-pack Booster Gold that came with Blue Beetle. Ah, oh, he's in the back. I'm going to knock off a bunch of figures if I grab him. You got the two-pack Booster Gold, way different looking, more of a really yellow and blue. This is metallic blue and gold. This is a proper Booster Gold suit for me, which is why I had to get this one because it's... it's I'm going to switch him out with the other Booster Gold. So now I have some extra Booster Golds and Blue Beetles. I think I, once I get to my definitive, the definitive version, for sure, for me, like that, I'm good to go. It only comes with a flight stand, no effects or like a punching effect. I mean, could have given me something. You could have given me like a little something there. Would have been all right by me. But I mean, what can I, you know, 
All right, last last one in the new way of ambush bug, which I I'll be honest, I'm a bad nerd on this one. I don't DC classics. I'm not familiar with ambush bug. Not not a character that I have any familiarity with. He comes with uh, a, he's an extra pair of hands that are just floating in there in a bag. That's amazing. You can't see it, but there's like a bag with the hands. They didn't actually put them in the mold. These guys got any of those in there? Oh, look. He's got a flight stand. No. No. Interesting. I've never seen bagged hands in a, in a whatever. That's great. But he's got this little doll thing. Uh, I'm pumped with this figure, too. I think this is going to be a fun figure. He's not your, you know, he's not like a classic seven or top tier hero this is a really obscure figure because i'm not i'm be honest i'm not even aware of them uh, but there you go you got the new dc wave ambush bug booster gold mr freeze you got obviously my man dp coming in for the old movie version and then mr zazz getting zazzy so there you go what do you think you picked him up you pass him up um, I'm pretty pumped with actually all of them. So hopefully reviews coming soon. Kyle Rainier and Kilowog review coming this week. I promise. Doses.